Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not Still going boring. to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa... I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. We're back in the Wolf Among Us! Uh, I'm a little bit late to the party, but better late than never. That's what I never say, but you know. It's time. Or, uh, I was waiting for it to come with the actual title of this episode. You know, why not? Let's play it then. That motherfucking piece of shit! Crane? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! Yeah, kind of plan to do What's that. What's going on? What did you find up there? Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going oh, to be babe. fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? Oh, Chris, she took Holly to the business office oh, yeah, to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the Trip Trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip Trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B! I'm gonna go beat some peeps. Have Wait! Other informations. It seems to be how I do things. The hell do you want? What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. Beauty, I have to go. Just wait a second and listen. This is important. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Okay, bye bye. Boo boo. I, I'm leaving. Okay? Shut up. Promising leads. Okay, here I am. I'm ready. No pecking fingers. I don't even think you heard that. That was very pathetic. It looks like I got a mole. I'm uh, all right. to be asked to speak to you. Are these bricks clothes? Scooby-Doo? all the kids. Friends, but few fables she was truly close to. It is a nice if funeral. You were here, then <laughs> you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that the pain interrupt. of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that. Are you doing, Oh, I haven't seen the you since episode one. Oh, uh, and Sheriff. Time, I'm sorry, I, uh. I didn't see you there. Hey, hold up, man. Hey, hold up. That that About as well as you'd think. I haven't had any other, um. It's never been as bad as when you saw me, at least. How she could be I was angry at first. When I heard that Lily was getting a funeral. Holly was getting torch for closure. I wanted that too. And I wanted it for Faith. But then I remembered Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. 
good so let Lily have the better finish. I never met Lily. I'll get the I'm gonna him. get the guy who did this, Lawrence. I know in Thank you, Bigby. And thanks for saving my life. Okay. Take care of things. Okay? Moment of silence. Thank you. Okay. Hi there. How you doing? Come on. You wanted a moment of silence. I need you right now. Come on. Sorry for being such a bozo. I'm sorry, Snow, but we have to leave. Not right now. No, you don't understand. Sorry. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. Yeah, this but this one isn't on big. him. Hmm. Why are you here anyway? Bit of a creepy man. And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? <clears throat> I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. We all deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. I need if anyone Snow, should be on. told, it's me. It's us. Right now. Snow. I came here to talk to Snow about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. It's about Faith. Eh. Just like, tell us who it was. Okay, jeez. Okay, everyone, just uh, okay. stop. I was actually gonna say it there. Bigby and I are going Ooh. to have a little chat Ooh. while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just gonna sit here Please, and... Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but... Just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Well. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Oh, you course. hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's discontinue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Okay. Now, where were we? What are you even doing? You're just standing there. Not even contributing. Contrib contributing. Okay, to the you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Show picture. Show picture. Show, show picture. Higby? Show picture. What's going on? Crane go. murdered Lily. What? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was <coughs> covered in blood. <coughs> I know it was him. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's Joe been doing? Picture. Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be okay, the best. Crane has photos. been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been 
recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, yeah, let's okay. go back to the I business like office. The I there. doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Yo! Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Oh, for God's Are sake. The burn? Do you have yes. any patience? Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's take just that time. something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. Okay. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh... I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Not... Yeah... I'm not uh, telling you anything. Coming! Relief! Jeez! Thinking just because she comes over here to talk to me. We get all the information. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Easy now, girl. You know Hello. how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You have three seconds to fuck off before this goes to a place you don't want it to. Oh, I don't have my stopwatch on me. <laughs> oh, God. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Uh, does nobody Brother, notice this? Speak your mind, fastly now. Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, well, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? Uh... Settle down, settle down now. I'm not making any deal with you. So just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Nah. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? Uh, think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking um, freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Well... Well, looks like I'm... Oh, okay. Holly! Well, looks like Holly's gone. She's dead. I got it, done. That's, that's the end of that story. Right there. there we go. Oh god, I was paying attention to you! There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, I'm dead. Fun. What? Oh, no. He still shot me in the face. Um, well. Why not kill two birds with one stone? You know what I'm saying? Oh, here's this intro again. Same intro. Yeah, so it's definitely just like like a TV show. This is episode three of The Wolf Among Us. Using this intro again. The Wolf Among Us. I'm gonna burn you with my cigarettes. 
convince. Episode 3, The Crooked Mile. Oh yeah. Who the hell is that guy? I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <laughs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's, How's everyone, everyone else? else? They all make it. Uh, They're fine. Well, oh, I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. I'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything okay. in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. I'll right, eat loads of chicken. Good. I'll go to KFC. Oh, wait. Business office. Where they have real I know. Oh. I'll have to call you back. All the right. town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Okay, Miss White, bye bye. Big B. Yo, I got my shirt off already. <clears throat> How you doing today? You okay? So, to recap. Yeah. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover. And once he puts all the New pieces back together, flippin'. it'll be easy New to catch flippin'. Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. I know! I have no idea. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss Maybe White. Just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. A thing on him? Thanks for tonight, glamour? by the way. But why would that he could so have gone really it? terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I, feel bad I for just Holly. feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least I hope so. Yeah, like for my her sake. Will, apparently they'll wor worm their way out eventually. Can I um ask you a question? Does it's it kind of personal. To with the bed? Me? And I, I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. What's what? on your mind? What's on your mind? It's just when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight. It feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. Huh? And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. So what if I do? You think we're broken or something? Is that it? I don't know. Maybe we're just not cut out for this world. We can't eat each other's hearts anymore, Bigby. This can't be like the old days. We have to make it better. Uh, guys? 
We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Well, damn. What do you mean? It's gonna be like months to think up in it. Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't hey, work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What, what the exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Why? Why have to take piece of the mirror? But like, we can still solve this just, ourselves. I know never down. mind that. Come Today, help me look. I'm getting on a train to run away from two people who are looking for me, and we'll probably check this desk to see if I'm getting on a train to get away from the two people who are going to check this desk. So, what? I don't understand why that's a thing. People believe in these things. They're not always going to leave something that tells them where they're going. This sound is diary. Oh, I'm going to have a list of crushes. Oh my god, can't wait. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Bufkin, do you know what was here? Yo. Oh, sick. It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you. Glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hung over. I'm sorry. I hate you. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Yo, Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or is You call called me. I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. Whoa. So, Whoa. can we find Whoa. the dumb pervert? Not today. Not. I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look. This just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use off it. Heads, the only beard. thing we know is that shot. Crane's going Jeez. to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Wait, no. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 
Yeah, and that's if he's even going there. We're trusting a monkey's interpretation of a phone call. It's not an interpretation. It's what he said, all right? Yeah, and it's what we have. So let's go on it, okay? Since Lily used the glamours, yeah, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. I can do well, both. Chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway, No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would Sounds do fun. it. Like this so this is how I'll we're going to do it. Wherever Actually, you no. go, I'll like go I to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. You know. He's up to something. I don't know what well, it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? But still, you know what I mean. I'll do that. Oh, damn. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Uh... Well, he might have left something in his apartment. Holly Fire. Uh, uh, Crane's place okay, is right here. Mouth landed on that. I should check that out first. <laughs> Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't. 